Good afternoon and welcome to your Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Eliza Lennon here with today's top stories. Today was the first National News Engagement Day. The day encourages people to interact with the news to make engaging with the news a national priority. Newhouse was giving away prizes all day, including a chance to win a GoPro. You could also see dogs or news hounds walking around campus. The day ends tonight with pizza and a movie at 6.30 in the herd. Today was also the second day of homecoming week. Festivities continued in Shine with free t-shirts, a photo booth, and more. Tomorrow night there will be trivia in Shine. Events are happening all week leading up to the announcement of the homecoming king and queen on Friday and Saturday's football game against Florida State. Three scientists won this year's Nobel Prize for Physics for helping to create the blue LED light. Red and green LED lights have been around for years, but scientists have been trying to figure out blue for over 30 years. With their invention, LED lights are now commonly used in homes, cell phones, and more. They save energy and are environmentally friendly because they don't contain mercury. Spain is now the first country to get Ebola with no connection to Africa. A nurse's assistant in Spain now has the deadly virus, and no information is known on how she got the virus. Spanish health authorities said today they are monitoring three more potential cases of Ebola, and another 22 people who had contact with the nurse are being watched. The nurse's current condition is unknown. Today it was mostly cloudy with a high of 69 degrees. Tonight you can expect rain and a low of 55 degrees. For tomorrow, you can expect showers in the morning, and the high will only be around 60 degrees with a low of 44 for tomorrow night. That's all for today's Citrus TV News Brief. Tune in for SA Today Live at 6. I'm Eliza Lennon. Have a great night, Syracuse.